This video is long overdue. I probably should have uploaded it to save you guys from making the wrong investment. But basically, I'm going to explain to you why this is the absolute best light cone you should go for in Herta's store once you've acquired these materials. Um, also, this is bait. Do not spend any of your materials on this. But again, I did upload this a bit late, so some of y'all probably already went straight for the Star Rail Pass. And if you did, I personally think you'd made the wrong choice. You should be going for refinements. This material here can be utilized to refine any one of these light cones that you end up choosing. And it actually gives you enough to refine all of them to max refinement, a five star light cone max refinement. That is just insane. But it's going to take a while before you get to these two, I would imagine. So which one should you choose out of these three? Again, I think you should choose this one and I'll go. I'm going to explain why it is objectively the best way to go about it one the destruction path light cone when i read its stats it's not anything that's significantly better than what i saw in the four star options it's not blowing them out of the water and furthermore there are free to play obtainable four star options that you can get that aren't bad this basically gives you a 32 percent attack increase after you attack four times and then you get a 12 percent damage increase so that's a 12 percent multiplier damage multiplier and then you have 32 percent attack which goes straight to your your attack that you have um that's not bad and then we come over here to preservation and preservation honestly just not that good to me you get eight percent effect resistance you get a uh, 16 percent shield if you don't have a shield let me, let me make sure i read that right oh yeah once you're attacked if you don't have a shield you get a 16 percent hp shield and uh max refinement it's a 32 percent of your hp but i mean like it's just like not that good. It's, there's not really anything enticing here because I don't need a shield when I can play a character who just will cast a shield. There's some value here, right? But it's really not that much value. And then finally it says, if the wearer has a shield when they're attacked, they receive 20%, 24% decreased damage. Now this is max refinement, all right? Now I'm not gonna lie to you, 24% decrease in damage, that's thick. But again, what can we get in comparison to these two light cones. Finally, we have this one right here. At max refinement, which you can get completely free, we're talking about a 32% increased crit chance. 16 off rip and another 16 when the, uh, the enemy's HP is below 50%. Furthermore, when you defeat an enemy, your attack is increased by 40%. Now, what I like about this game is even the boss fights, they have thrown in a mechanic with bosses where they're constantly summoning these little guys next to them. And they're, uh, it's, it's basically a, a strategy and a mech that allows you to gain value from killing enemies. Because the first thing that goes to your mind is, well, when I fight a boss, I'm not going to be killing anybody. I'm only fighting the boss. Nope. This game has beautifully designed its boss fights to make sure you can take advantage of these types of buffs. So this is ridiculous amount of value 32 percent increased crit rate 40 percent attack boost like good lord that is massive furthermore when you look at the free to play options that we can acquire here boys okay so we have echo of war this is the boss fight you can do three times per week and you have a chance of getting these absolute free obtainable light cones from doing these boss fights it's a bit rng induced but i've already acquired a few i've acquired that one right there which is preservation path and again, if you compare it to the one we just read, this is pretty dang solid. It helps the entire team avoid damage and it it, it scales by 2%. I'll show you the one I have, uh, but that's preservation path right here. This is the hunt path. After entering battle, increase the wearer's speed by 8% and damage by 12%. When the wearer takes damage, it disappears. The effect will resume after the end of the wearer's next turn. This is the most awful hunt path light cone i've seen out of all of them it's just garbage you get you get bare minimum value and then there's a there's a precondition or no no a, a condition that says if you take damage it goes away so then i just have a light cone that's a stat stick that's garbage for the hunt path man like it's just not good this one for harmony you get a 16 percent increase in damage just from using your harmony character skill amazing and then here we go, Destruction Path. Increase the wearer's attack by 10% and increase their damage to enemies afflicted with burn or bleed by 16%. And you can refine this and it has good refinement too. So there's a there's good options for the Destruction Path. There's good options for the Preservation Path or a good option. And let's go ahead and take a look at them. But there's not a good option for the Hunt Path. So here's, here's Preservation right here. I have it at Super Impose 3 already. 
means I refined it three times already. That's how many times I've gotten this. You get one for completely free, I think, progressing through the game, and then doing those boss fights, you probably get a couple more copies. So I already have this for preservation path, a path as a free to play that says at the start of the battle, the damage dealt to all allies decreases by 12% for five turns, and then I immediately get 40% increase as soon as we jump into the battle. Well, it's a difference between how much HP is missing, but you can use this. You don't have to buy the one in the shop. Uh, it's just, it's kind of bad investment going for preservation when you can just get this right here and put it on your tank as a free to play player. Now going over to the destruction path, we come over here, completely free to play obtainable and completely free to play obtainable. You get both of these just by progressing through the game, man. You really do. It's in, and they're both not bad options. Increase the wearer's attack by 16% straight up. Uh, and then the wear's crit rate increases by 12% when you defeat an enemy. This is very good, man. And if you go to super uh, impose and you go to max refinement, if you can't even do that, it doesn't matter. It scales off 4% every time you refine it and 3% crit rate every time you refine it. That goes up to a banger uh, max refinement free to play obtainable option, which is solid. Same here. You don't need to get the destruction path light calm. But guess what? Dan Hang, Seal, and... Su Shang, all three characters that everybody is using for the hunt path right now in the game are characters that are very popular and very powerful. What free to play option do we have for the light path? Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm going I'm trying to find where the hell Dan Hang is. Here, here he is. Here he is. This is the free to play option we have. We have this one increase the damage of the wearer's basic attack and skill by 30%. That is a massive damage bonus, mind you, it is. But nobody really uses basic attacks, I'll be honest. We always try to use skill or ult. So the skill does get a 30% damage bonus. This effect increases by an extra 30% when the wearer's current energy reaches its max level. Honestly, it's like you're going to get advantage of this maybe off of one skill because you're always going to pop their ult. You, that's just the first thing you do you pop their oats so you don't really get advantage of this bad boy right here you can with su shang but with the other two dan hang and oh girl and it's debatable if, how much value you get out of the second part but that is a decent free-to-play option but there's no crit there's literally no crit in here whatsoever and the hunt path characters really do need their crit to shine because all of them hit multiple times they tick a lot seal has a, a ridiculously nasty combo um dan hang skill hits multiple times and then he has a one shot ult you want them to crit strike and this literally does not help their ult at all it's a stat stick if you consider their ult uh into the into the equation and then finally this obtainable option right here after entering battle <laughs> it's just it's such small gains and then you could lose it if you get hit. Like, this is so awful, man. I don't even know. I need to take the lock off this bad boy. Why is this locked? And then finally, we have this right here, which I'm currently working towards getting its final refinement because I've been going through the simulated universe and doing all the things to acquire it. Guys, there's a no-brainer. This is where it's at. If you're a SEAL player, free light cone, five-star, 32% increased crit chance, 35% attack boost goes up even higher when you finally refine it. If you're a Dan Hang player, no brainer. Su Shang, no brainer. I mean, this is just, it's its insane value. You know what I mean? So hopefully, if you're barely coming into this game and you're trying to see who, sh what should I get in Herta's store? Do not buy these two at all. There's other options you'll get. But th this right here, man, it is a banger of an option, fam. I'm telling you, get this for the hunt path because the hunt path needs a actual reliable light cone that can be utilized across all hunt path people coming in the future. And this one here is definitely gonna be the best bang for your buck. And do not spend currency on this until you've at least max refined this first. These do not come uh, in abundance. They are actually quite scarce and limited and finite. So you wanna make sure you're using them appropriately. Buy only this and this, buy this first, and then just use all of your currency to get this to max refine it. Anyways, hopefully this brought you guys some value. Take care, I'll catch you on the flip side.